This is a We Teach History video tutorial with Mr O'Connor. Hitler's Foreign Policy, the Anglo-Naval Agreement, 1935. The main points of this tutorial are as follows. Britain had the world's largest navy, and the strength of it maintained the British Empire. Britain couldn't afford another arms race like before World War I, so they met with Hitler in 1935 to make an agreement. The agreement stated that the German Navy would always be two-thirds the size of the Royal Navy. Hitler wanted to rearm. The terms of the Treaty of Versailles stated that he couldn't have such modern weapons as submarines and U-boats, but this agreement gave him the opportunity to start rearming and build such instruments. He also wanted to have battleships. Modern battleships, which had been built after World War I, were going to be the massive superstructures that would be decisive in any upcoming conflict and Hitler wanted the opportunity to break the Treaty of Versailles to start building these. Many historians find it utterly selfish that Britain actually allowed Germany to break the Treaty of Versailles for its own selfish purposes and start to rearm. If Hitler had been stopped possibly then he wouldn't have been able to rearm so openly but Britain, because they wanted to maintain their own personal strength, signed this treaty and so undermined the Treaty of Versailles. So, in conclusion, this actually allowed Hitler to break the Treaty of Versailles, one of his main aims. And it also allowed him to rearm, which was one of his supplementary aims. Hitler could now start building a modern navy with submarines and battleships for any upcoming conflict. Britain, selfishly, was allowed to maintain a larger navy by two-thirds. But this was one of Hitler's aims and he achieved it.